Before we begin Unit 9, here is the answer to the Unit 8 question. The best answer is choice C. At the time of this training, there are no state and very few district mandates requiring environmental education to be infused into the instruction. Decades of attempts by leading environmental scientists aimed at influencing our current decision makers to change their economic growth mentality have failed. Although teachers have the right to maintain their own principles and values, they should never impose those personal ideals on their students. However, if tomorrow's leaders can be made aware of the realities that they will be facing, they will have the opportunity to adapt their research, economy, and life activities in ways our generation never dreamed possible to create a sustainable future society. Unit 9, our biggest supporter. Although we tend to take our parents' love and support for granted, we owe them our existence. The same can be said about the Earth, and as far as we know, it's the only planet that supports life. What is so special about the Earth that allows life to exist? Basically, the Earth has four distinct support systems that interact to provide life with everything it needs. In addition, several natural laws work together to provide Earth with the three essential principles of sustainability that allow life to continue indefinitely. Let's take a closer look at each support system, the natural laws, and the principles of sustainability to see how life depends on them and how they are all connected. Our atmosphere is one of Earth's support systems. It's a thin layer of gases that surrounds the planet's surface. Scientists refer to the lowest atmospheric layer in which life exists as the troposphere. All of our weather occurs in the troposphere that reaches a maximum height of only a little more than 10 miles. The two major gaseous components, nitrogen, 78%, and oxygen, 21%, are essential for life. All others, called trace gases, make up the remaining 1%. A few of these trace gases, carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor, are examples of greenhouse gases. These molecules are responsible for converting the sun's rays into thermal energy and preventing that heat from escaping back out into space. Without them, the Earth would be too cold and the temperature extremes too great to support life as we know it. The stratosphere is directly above the troposphere. Although stratospheric air is too thin to support life, it contains a layer of ozone gas that acts as a shield filtering out most of the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. Without this natural sunscreen, life could not exist on our planet. The hydrosphere refers to all the water on or near the surface of the Earth. Life depends on the fact that water naturally exists in all three phases, solid, liquid, and gas. And unlike any other substance, its solid state is less dense than its liquid state. Because of this, Ice floats, allowing life to exist in the liquid water below the frozen surface. The geosphere consists of the Earth's core, mantle, and outer crust. The upper portions of the geosphere contain and cycle the nutrients and chemicals needed by all living things. The areas of the atmosphere, hydrosphere, and upper levels of the geosphere in which life exists are collectively referred to as the biosphere. The biosphere should be regarded as a very thin, delicate, and fragile envelope. The Earth support systems make life possible, but it's the three principles of sustainability that keep it running. The three principles of sustainability are 1. Energy flows in one direction 2. Essential nutrient cycle and 3. Gravity keeps the atmosphere, hydrosphere, and geosphere physically connected. Like any electronic device, the Earth needs an energy source to make things run. All of the energy that the Earth has received, or will ever receive, comes from the Sun. According to the first two laws of thermodynamics, high-quality electromagnetic radiation received from the Sun moves through all living things and then back out into space as low-quality heat energy. This one-way energy flow is the first principle of sustainability. You will learn in a later unit that relying on fossil fuels disrupts this one-way energy flow and is therefore an unsustainable practice. The Earth is the Earth. What you see is what you get, and there are no supply ships arriving from an outer space general store to restock our shelves with the items we use. As such, the law of conservation of matter governs a cycling process 
whereby all the elements, compounds, and minerals needed for the survival of all living organisms must be cycled throughout the biosphere. Material cycling is the second principle of sustainability. You will soon understand that by altering the environment to suit their own needs, humans are negatively impacting these essential cycling processes. The law of gravity allows the Earth to hold an atmosphere and retain its water resources. It also determines the systematic flow and movement of matter. Gravity is considered to be the third principle of sustainability because without it, there would be no atmosphere, hydrosphere, or geosphere. Nutrients could not cycle, energy could not flow, and life would be unable to thrive. We can summarize by saying that the Earth provides the support systems that life needs to flourish and the natural laws allow the principles of sustainability to ensure that life goes on indefinitely. Humans might think they are a big deal, but the truth is that we neither have the knowledge nor the capability to accomplish even a small fraction of the free, life-supporting miracle provided by the Earth. We rarely thank Mother Earth for all that she has done and continues to do for us. By the way, if you are lucky enough to still have the opportunity, we suggest that you give your parents a call today and thank them for all they have done for you. Here is your question for Unit 9. Which of the following is not one of the three principles of sustainability? Choice A. The atmosphere, hydrosphere, and geosphere make up the biosphere. Choice B. Energy flows in one direction. Choice C, essential nutrients cycle. Or choice D, the law of gravity keeps the atmosphere, hydrosphere, and geosphere physically connected. The answer and explanation are provided at the beginning of Unit 10.